it's our turn to cast a little sunshine and throw a little shade in sunshine and shade, Peach. Are we going to do sunshine, both of our sunshines, and okay. then shade it up? Or what? what's what's your... Yeah, what's I don't know. Yeah, or should we do the shade first and then brighten it up? Let's go that way. Okay. All right. All right, Peach. So note. who are you putting some shade on, Peach? I'd like to put some shade on the Cleveland Cavaliers in Arena Entertainment. One of the joys of the NBA package that we get, that we get to watch, is we get to see all the stuff that goes on in the arena in between. Yeah. I'm a big fan of it. We like that stuff. I love it when our when our squad does it. I love DJ yeah. D-Strong and Corey. Yeah, the fan stuff. cam. I love all that stuff. The fan, I like to see what other teams are doing. Yeah. What, what are they doing for fun? The Cleveland in arena entertainment was just so poor from game beginning to end. I never really even saw their dance squad. So yeah. they couldn't get well, into the championship because the only dance squad I saw was their was their golden oldies. Yeah. Which, by the way, I, I like it when the old folks go. And some of yeah. the people on their squad got moves. They had some moves. Yeah. All right. But like that's like a ha ha. That was fun. And then yeah. like you know better stuff later or right. different stuff or give me some variety. Never came. Unbelievable. <laughs> it was just weird, man. Like they didn't. They weren't doing anything in there. If I'm a Cavs fan and and. And obviously, the team is decent and good. Yeah, and very should be good. A top Eastern Conference team. They're number one, I think, because right they now. are not going for the <laughs> for the entertainment in between. Like, they're just not even trying. It's like it's, the dance team was on strike that night or something. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. But like, <laughs> if we play in Cleveland again, maybe they'll get a shot at the belt. But in this one, it was almost like, you know. The Hawks continued to keep the belt because of a disqualification. Like they didn't even <laughs> show up to the ring. <laughs> so to me, that's a miss. Uh, they they didn't do as as much fun things with giving out T-shirts and like getting the crowd hyped. They yeah. seemed very lame. And I don't know if you know maybe they're missing some people. Maybe the the injury bug is hit there. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. Yeah, I, I don't know. But for me. You got to put in a little bit more effort. These fans pay a lot of money to go to these games. Yeah. You got to entertain your home fans. Put something on at halftime. Get some guy balancing stuff or people yeah. shooting half court shots for hundreds of dollars and stuff and do some fun stuff. And I just, it was a stinker all game from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So if you're going to watch the magic on the road, don't do it in Cleveland. It does not rock. Keep it shady, my friend. Some more shade. Yeah. Bring in the clouds. I'm not going to be quite as creative as you, Peach. I'm going to throw some shade on our shooting, okay? Here comes stats. It's the low-hanging fruit, ladies and gentlemen, but I have to, okay? I can't let a slide on it. We're 29th of 30 in the league from three. It's 29% right. from three. Only, and this is the only maybe sunshine in this, the Lakers are worse, okay? That's that's the only silver lining I have, and that's, that's good. Um, it bleeds into our offense, obviously. Our offense is ranked 28th in the league. And, you know, these games that were being, are being decided by these misses from three. We mentioned it as a show. You mentioned it in what I learned. The loss to the Hawks by 10 seems bad, but we went 8 for 34 from three. Yeah. 8 for 34. So it's like... That game really, we were in it in the end until kind of the very end of the fourth quarter. And if we would have made a couple threes, yep. that's a two point game at Ports. That's a four point game. We're right there. Same thing with New York. The The final score was 13, but we were in it. We were down by six in the fourth quarter. Absolutely. That was a pretty close game. Seven for 35. Right. 20% from three. I, I, a few yeah. more shots falling, and we win that game. Yep. It's. It's really bad. Um, it's been the woe, and it's not like the defenses we're playing against are freaking world movers, all right? Um, well, Celtics. We were missing. That's true. Um, we've been missing a lot of open shots, and it's just troubling, and it needs to get the clouds. All right, Peach? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think anybody doesn't realize that that's a problem at this no. point we need that shooting and it does stink to think that we sent perhaps one of our best shooters <laughs> to not make the team and yeah. Dan kennedy but the honestly, only team if they're not going to give rj minutes then maybe they they wouldn't have minutes for him either to be yeah. honest. yeah so. i mean i think they want caleb houston to fill that role and yeah he may sure he may he's he's still shooting decently but not good because no one's shooting well man as well no one is shooting well. All right. I'm just I'm rubbing my brow because I'm just so upset right now, Peach. So I need I need some sunshine, Peach. Come on. You need shine? Okay. I need some. You know what sunshine's good for? Yeah. It's good for flowers. Oh, for yes. And that's what we've seen here a lot, right? Yeah. Like 
The problem with growing is, is that growing, it takes time. It does. You can't just put the miracle grow in there and turn around two days later and see a full flower in bloom. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a while. You're right. The roots got to grow in the soil. The mm. soil's got to be good. Got to Love moist. the extended metaphor. Love a yes. moist soil. <laughs> Then you got to have a stem come up. You're going to have some yeah. things come off. Oh, yeah, leaves. Things going to stop. With that, and then it's going to get a little sun. It's going to bloom. Oh, bloom. We're, we're not at that bloom point. Okay. We don't have that flower up there to the point where it's ready to bloom. Where, are are we working on stalk yet? We where got are a we? Stem. A we stem got is a slight stem. Out of the dirt. Okay. And it's headed for the, for the sun. For the sun. Okay. <laughs> and I think it's important that everyone take that mindset, as I've said several times on this show and every live stream. And I will continue to say this until you guys all get it through your skull that, like, you got to relax. You got to understand that this is a process and it takes time. You're not just going to get a flower the day after you put dirt in a pot. You know, it takes some time to grow. And these are what they call growing pains, mm. right? Not just a popular TV show from the 80s. It's an actual <laughs> saying, growing pains. But the fact is, growing is the first word there. Yeah. So growing. You got to see that there's been positivity and better yeah raining all down on our team yes and it this is, is getting that soil wet yep. that will make the flower go so yeah you got to look at that positive everybody in a couple of years from now there'll be a flower up there that you'll be like oh look at this flower it's almost ready this to go a very strong flower you know? and this is part of it so don't get down about losing five games in a row i'm sure there's going to be another one of those streaks in this in this season where we lose five games in a row that's just a fact so yep. get it through be ready to accept <laughs> And move forward. As long as we're taking steps forward and not going backwards, we're gonna have a nice flower in a few years. Well, I, I so think I, I think that uh, Magic fans are are seeing that. They they think they're they're appreciating Peach's message of temperance. Oof. They're listening, and they're seeing because I want to throw some sunshine on you all out there, Orlando Magic fans, particularly. You down in the Orlando area who are showing up to these games right now. Yes, give it, clap it up. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be joining you down there in February. More to come about that. But Magic right now, Peach, we're 10th in the league uh, for attendance. For a small, as we say, a small market team that people always insult as kind of only two home games being <laughs> outside of nowhere. Yeah, but but we're there still, and we're still we're ahead of teams like the Lakers, and they've had home games, and the Bulls who are in Chicago, and the Clippers who are also in L.A. Yep. So Ticket prices might be a factor there. Yeah. Well, whatever. I don't <laughs> care what the factor is. People are showing up. And that's what I that's yeah. what I love and that's what I see. And we're able to see it here. We're in Connecticut. We're watching on the NBA package. We're getting the Bally Sports feed. And we are seeing it and hearing you in the arena. And we're just the players are clearly feeding off it. I know there's been some negative body language from them at times early on, but I think that's because they know they're letting us down. And they don't want to see it anymore. These guys don't want to lose, yes, for themselves because they're competitors, but they're trying to get a win for us, for the fan base, for the city. So, Orlando Magic fans, salute to you. That is your sunshine. You're awesome. Keep it up.